Good morning everyone! As I was pondering and praying for what God wanted me to share, I praise Him for leading me to one of my devotions. We are all experiencing our different struggles, especially in times of pandemic, right? Raise your hand those who don't have struggle. Of course, not me, because I have also struggles or challenges that I am facing. But still, praise God, because through this, we can see God's gracious hand that is working in our lives in different ways. For others, being happy is a difficult thing to do. But for us, happiness is more than our choice. It's our weapon. As Nehemiah 8.10b says, Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's so easy to sabotage a good day with high expectations and confused priorities. But we have to make the choice to rejoice. So, we also need to protect our joy. How? Here are two ways we should avoid to protect our joy. First, putting things first. Enjoying things is good and it's God's plan. But whenever we start looking to things to give us purpose, happiness, or identity, it ultimately leaves us feeling broken and empty. For example, if we think of having an expensive things or any branded things can only make us happy. We get jealous if we see others who have it or maybe feel self-pity if we can't afford it yet. Second, putting people's approval first. Choosing the approval of people over God is a guaranteed formula for losing our joy. Seeking people's approval won't bring joy. It will entrap you. In fact, anything you seek more than you seek Him in His kingdom will eventually steal your happiness. Matthew 6.33 says, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Keep your eyes on God and your happiness will no longer be based on your circumstances. This is not just a reminder for us adults, but it is for all of us. Better to practice and apply it when you are still young. Imagine God is telling you this. False trust or expectations lead to a loss of joy and peace. Circumstances, the things of life, people's opinions and performances could rob you of my simple joys and pleasures. If you misplace your affections, I loved you when you had nothing. How quickly the heart will chase what it esteems as valuable. Value my approval and seek me for yours. It will go better this way and you will not be left empty-handed or empty-hearted. What a joy hearing these words from God, right? But if it seems too late for you, you just need to rediscover yourself. Having no joy can lead to depression. Depression drains you mentally, spiritually, and physically. Even energetic people or young people like you, who were once full of hope and drive, can have trouble getting out of bed when suffering with depression. While overcoming depression isn't quick or easy, it's not impossible. Don't take it lightly when your friend or someone told you that he or she is depressed. Or take it seriously when you are feeling depressed. These are steps you can take to rediscover yourself and start living again. First, 
Say what God says about you. Find scriptures that you can repeat throughout the day. Say them out loud, like positive affirmations from God's Word on paper, and post them throughout your home in places you will look often. For example, Jeremiah 31.3 Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with love and kindness, and I have drawn you. It says, I am loved. Jeremiah 29.11 for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. It means God has the best plan for me and you. Joshua 1.9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. It means I will not be afraid because God is with you. Psalm 139.14 I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. It means I am wonderful. I am beautiful. These are just few verses and you can find more in the Bible. You should not have excuses in reading God's word. Don't have Bible? You can easily access that one and install it from Play Store or App Store with different languages for free. Okay? Second, set the stage. Keep background music on in your home that sets the stage for a peaceful, healed, and positive atmosphere. Music can really affect your mood and your thoughts. Take time to pause and rest if you are tired. Third, sunlight. Make sure you're seeing daylight for at least 30 minutes a day, either through sunlight or a light made for imitating the effects of sunlight. Don't stay in dim or dark places because it can make you more depressed. Next, Schedule exercise. Getting in 30 minutes of cardio activity at least three times a week means those endorphins get released regularly and help you work through and release stress if you are stressed already. Next is sleep. Turn your lights down and try to go to bed at the same time every night. Remember, a tired body and a quiet mind are the requirements for quality sleep. Turn the television, laptop, cell phone, or any gadget off and engage in calming, quiet activities like reading, taking a warm bath, etc. before going to bed. Next is socialize. Spend face time, not Facebook time or online game time with close friends and family. Have some fun! Keep it simple or go to dinner, a movie, or just grab a cup of coffee, milk, or tea together with them. And lastly, stop looking at your past. Let go of regret and stop looking at your past. Forgive yourself and others. Learn from your mistakes. Write down a list of dreams you have for your future or have your bucket list. Pay attention to those times when you tend to dwell on the negatives in your life, both real or imagined, and stop them. It takes work and persistence, but you can tell yourself to stop rehearsing the negatives. Imagine God is telling you this. You are not alone. I am with you always. Practice being mindful of my presence and what I say about you. My love is never shaken by trouble. You can take refuge in me and know that the sun will come out and you will laugh again. Choose to believe that I am greater and together we are more than conquerors. For our last verse, Isaiah 41.10 says, So, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let us pray. Father God, Lord in heaven, we praise you and thank you for today. Thank you for your word that reminded us that we are not alone. Thank you for giving us rest and wisdom in everything that we are doing. Thank you for keeping us safe. We pray, O oh God, that, our, that your word will penetrate in each hearts and minds so that we will not forget it easily. Father, bless us all with joy in everything that we needed to do and help us to protect this joy. Continue to bless us and make us a channel of blessings to others for your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much and have a blessed day everyone.